Hey, Johannes here. Today I will show you a few gold farm and tricks you can do to make a lot of gold in Season of Mastery. It is great now and will only become better when more time passes and people get more gear. Let's dive into the video. Let's face it, people can be lazy, so what can you do to profit from this? Provide something for them that they want, yet they do not want to go out and farm themselves. We will start off with Librum of Resilience. This Librum can give you a ton of different enchants, but the one we are focusing on today in Season of Mastery is the plus 20 fire assist. You need the following for it. Every tank will need two of these for their fire resist set. It helps a ton on Baron Geddon and Ragnaros right now in Season of Mastery. But when Blackwing Lair will release, which I think will be pretty soon, maybe a month, a month and a half, it will become mandatory. We have not seen any changes yet for BBL, but these enchants and the fire assist gear from Torian Brotherhood was very needed back then. So it will be again in Season of Mastery, and you can make gold from this. Any class can farm the Burning Essence, but it's the easiest for the rogues in Blackrock Depths, they can solo it. It comes from a dark coffer located at the vault. You can always make a group and clear BRD and a hard reserve it as a tank and get them yourselves. But imagine this, a rogue is advertising this enchant for 100-150 gold. You have both your fire resist pieces already from your guild crafter. It is easier paying that amount than going through the work and this is where anyone can come in. I myself have already invested gold into this. I got about 100 Librum of Resilience ready and I bought these between 50 silver and 2 gold each. And I partnered up with a few rogues. But what if Fire Ma is so hard in the new season of Mastery? Everyone will need this fire resistant chant. The Librums will go up in price and now all classes need them. I can tell you for Ragnaros this is not the case right now. But who knows how Fire Ma is going to look when it comes out. If you then have a bunch stocked up, it's some nice selling for gold. So again, this is Librum of Resilience. Now we'll go into some others for Season of Mastery. Librum of Ferocity. As soon as Onexia and Ragnaros are on farm for most guilds, what will happen in Season of Mastery? Hunters will get their tier 2 hats, legs, maybe also their tier 1. Rogue, same thing, or they will use the combination of tier 0.5. Lionheart recipe has dropped or is dropping soon on your server. This means all Fury Warriors and the other classes mentioned need a Librum of Ferocity or maybe even two. I have already bought and invested into a few of these. This enchant gives 8 strength or agility which is awesome for raiding in Season of Mastery. Back in Classic WoW these would reach on my server around 500 to 800 gold each during Blackwing Lair. But what you can do is do the effort of completing the enchant already. After raids or when Lionheart recipe is available you can start advertising this enchant and selling it to them. Trade the buyer and enchant it for them. Best time will probably be Wednesday or Sunday evening late or the day after or at any given time when someone gets a Lionheart helm. Okay, so what about casters and healers in Season of Mastery? You can make gold with that enchant as well. It gives plus eight healing and damage from spells. Also, it's not that expensive to get. Casters and healers need two Skin of Shadow from Skolomance, one pristine black diamond, four large brilliant shards, and one Librum of Focus, so make sure to get them while running Skolomance Dungeons for gold or later your enchants. This Librum used to be around 70 to 100 gold each when Diarmo released later in Classic WoW. Now with Diarmo out in Season of Mastery of Phase 1, it is around 5 to 10 gold on my server. I've bought a few as I have some extra Skin of Shadow for when I get that tier 2 helm. This gives plus 8 damage to your head and leg slot. I was lucky enough to win the tier 2 pants from Ragnaros for Mage, so I got it enchanted right away. More and more will have this happen to them the following weeks, and it's quite a bit of effort getting this enchant. I had to accept the quest, go to Dire Mall, back out, complete it, and back in. Librums are also unique, so you can just turn in one at a time, so if you want two, that's a lot of walking. Not to mention flying there. What you can do is you can actually ask some friends to come and help you out, so they each have one Librum on them. Also doing Skolomance for the two Skin of Shadow. You could probably sell this for 50 to 100 gold each, and one required material is pristine black diamond. Back when Dire Mall released in Classic WoW, it went for 1 to 35 gold each on my server on Razorgore Alliance. It stayed at 25 to 35 gold for a few weeks and then crashed hard. With Zulgaroop coming out quicker than usual, I'm not sure if these will spike up again, but I took the luxury of investing into a few of them at 40 silver each. What can go wrong? Before we go to the last one, pump the Johannes like and subscribe stock, as you can see, it pays dividends in World of Warcraft Season of Mastery tips and stories. If you're still having trouble finding a guild that suits you, check out my free guide in the description of this video. Now we will talk about Librum of Constitution. This grants 100 HP to a leg or head slot, as well in Season of Mastery Classic. The way you make gold on it, same thing. 
you get the regions to make it yourself and advertise it. The thing is, it used to just be for tanks and some PvPers, but with Battlegrounds already out, most rankers are interested in it. Also, Twinks, a extra 200 HP is great there. I don't see these going up as much as the Liberum of Veracity, but you could be the one-stop shop for all of these, and you can just set your own prices for each enchant. You make up the price. And you can adjust it if there is competition in the market. Do make it worth it for your customer though. For some of the Liberum's enchants, you need Crystal Spire Ward or Force, these you can get if you turn in a mix of 10 blue, yellow, green, red power crystals in Ungoro Crater to get these enchants in Season of Mastery. What I advise is just buy these from Auction House. If they are really expensive, then farm them yourself and turn them in. Maybe set up a level 20 warlock there for summons if you do this with some friends with clickers if you want to save a lot of time. Some also need Whipper Root Tuber and Knight's Dragon's Breath, which can be found in Felwood. Just look around and now with layers it is probably easier. Do it late at night or you may get ganked a lot or they are taken already. There is an add-on that shows where they are as far as I'm aware. Knight's Dragon's Breath has just a few spots up at a time so check all of them. It comes down to advertising a lot to make gold in Season of Mastery and having these on you. Prepare now and have these in your bank. This can be a great gold farm. And believe me, as soon as someone wants this enchant and you are known to have it, they will just tell them. Go check out that guy, he sells all of the enchants. Just have some patience and have them ready. You can always bargain with a buyer, there's no magic gold price per enchant. Do what you feel is best. I remember at one point having the 100 HP enchant in my bank already for my tanks in WoW Classic. And there were even level 19 twinks wanting to buy it. They would give me like 200 to 300 gold while it only cost me 60 to 80 gold and some effort finding the knight's dragon's breath. This is how I first discovered the power of this with Librims and Enchants. Just be at the right place at the right time in Season of Mastery and get that fat gold. If you're wondering, hey Johannes, I don't want to do this. How can I still make gold from it? Well, what you can actually do is you can start investing in these Librims. If you think they are going to go up. Again, they are unique. So you're going to want to have to send them to bank alts. What you can do is you can just buy a bunch of them. Then you have 30 days to mail them over to a bank alt. Then that bank alt has 30 days and then it gets sent back to you and you have another 30 days. So if you want to invest into these, start doing that now. Because I think later on, less people will be farming them. As far as I know, in BRD, there's a lot of Librams that drop or it might not be farmed that heavy anymore. Keep in mind, a lot of mages are spell cleaving there now. A lot of people are dungeoning there now. And eventually that will dry up. Also, it's not a bad thing to have these enchants already if you're planning on using them when you get your base gear. Let me know if you're going to try this and make sure to destroy that like button. Thank you for watching and have a good one.